And don't forget about the giveaway on the road to 100 YouTube subscribers. And Sun City Collectibles where I get all my local toys. And Dan at Doc's Unique Collectibles, the one stop dream shop. Well here we have the package finally. So we can get right in here. Let me flip it over. See right here, it says the Flash and Batman Earth 52, which is Red Death, where he's from. And then the back of it has the same pictures that the trading cards are on. As you can see right here. And then um, the other figures that have come in this new line of uh, DC Multiverse. Let's go ahead, on the other side, same thing. And there you go, there goes the box right there. Closer look. Yeah, right here, as you can see, you get the DC cards in the standard um, standing displays for them. Let's go ahead and put that to the side. Let's go ahead and start taking these bad boys out. Um, something different here, there's an actual base, which is this rocky base right here, which it has two pegs on there where you can actually put the footing of the two figures facing each other. Which is cool if you want to, you know, put them on that. You don't really need it, but it's cool. Nonetheless, something different. Downside. For those that are not familiar with the Flash, there are multiple iterations of different types of Flashes out there. Um, so, you'll see them all over. And I'm sure that this DC line, they're in, they're end up making a bunch of these, you know, different types as well. Alternate universes and stuff. So, I'm sure we're just standing by. So let's take a closer look at the flash that we have here. The articulation on this is standard for the, all the DC multiverse line pretty much. Besides the Robin, because the Robin is a little bit more limited because it's smaller. But yeah, the joints, everything, um, is, you're able to move around and bend at the toes here. Unlike Marvel Legends, you can't bend on the toes. Um, and if you see here, there's the alternate uh, headpiece of him mean mugging, which is pretty cool. I like it. And then uh, elbow, arms move around, swivel right there. The, the waist right there, bend back, forward, good um, range. I like the design. This is the design from the 50, new 52 design. Yeah, I got a little something right there. No worries, that's QC issue. Yeah, the only thing I don't like about these that can't turn at the calf area for better possibility, but I can get over it, no big deal. But I love the bright reds and yellows on it, so let me put it to the side. Let's get Red Death out here. I'm really anticipating this uh, figure right here. At least I was anticipating it for a while because um, it's never been done. Um, he's a fairly new character too. Um, I've seen him in statue form, but never in a, a toy like this in a figure. Put that to the side. So I'm excited. So let's look at him. Um, reds are right, just like the comic. Um, Posability the same as the other Flash. Uh, the boots and the areas where the gloves are and everything. Uh, the bright kind of a glossy paint look. The hand here, I don't really care too much for it. I wish there was a different alternate hand. I mean, I don't mind it for growth running posability, poses, excuse me, but I'd rather have an alternate hand. And then there goes the face shield for the mouth guard. And I love the Red Death um, bat symbol on there, it's sick. And then it's got all the stripes and everything on there, so it's pretty sick. It's not, like, it's not just a direct cut from a flash or something, so I like it. Everything bends like normal in all the right places, and we're just gonna be the 
wrists, the ankles, the elbows, and the knees and everything. And let's look at the back right quick. Same thing with the colors, bright reds. The head moves around, swivels pretty good, no restrictions there. And at the waist, you can see right there where it bends, where it's not really a big separation or anything, so it's pretty good. Pretty good. I think it's done really well. Little backstory of Red Death. He actually is a combination of Barry Allen, The Flash, and Batman. Batman actually took his powers and speed force, chased down Barry Allen uh, with his uh, Batmobile that had an integrated cosmic treadmill. And Batman, the reason why he did it, because he went crazy in his world, because Batman felt like he failed because uh, all the Bat family, including all the Robins, had died and everything. So that is a combination of both of them. So it's not just Batman and alternate Batman. It's a combination of both of them. And then here we have the Flash in the single pack. As you can see, it's got all the bolts of lightning and stuff on it. The hands are different than the two pack as well. The back is the same um, card where it has Godspeed and some other pictures in the background. But um, yeah, I mean, it's cool. It's sick. If you didn't get uh, the other one, I mean, this one would have done fine as well. But here are the actual trading cards here. You'll see the differences. Um, the back has the, the bios, which is standard for all of them, but the difference here is the fact that one is a foil card and one is a regular standard um, card. Same thing with uh, the Red Death card as well. Well, there you have the flash put together with all the bolts of lightning um, size the one that for the foot but this one here you see there's holes in there that you can put on the actual calves same thing as the, on the forearms and in the back right here these um, as you can see can be turned up or down depending on the position um, that you want to pose them in and these you know they, they work pretty good I mean you don't have to put them on, that's the best thing that you know you can take them off. But if, like I said, if you want to pose them in a running position, like something like this, then it's pretty dope, you know what I mean? So you can put those graphics on there for like, if you're one of those people that like to pose your figures and take pictures of them and stuff. And it's, it, it can add a cool effect, I guess. Go ahead and put them side by side. You see the other flash right here. I mean, they both have the same um, mold for the body, so they have all the same holes that you can switch these flash, uh, excuse me, not flash, but the thunderbolt, the lightning bolt, excuse me, on either or. So it works out. So it's not like you have to have one, and that's it. And then here you have the actual um, piece that I was talking about earlier that goes to the foot. So it has a little peg hole right there that you can put on um, place on one of those pegs. So they can stand just like that as if he's running with the flash stuff coming behind them. So here we have Red Death posed up against the flash. Looking dope and looking sick. Getting ready for action. So if you didn't know in the comics, Red Death actually acquired a gold suit. He was hit with some positive energy and turned into a reverse flash. That actually McFarren Toys is making a reverse flash all gold. Um, Red Death as well, go figure. So it's gonna come out pretty dope. If you know the comics, then you'll be excited to get that one as well. Well, there you have it. The Flash and Batman Earth 52 Red Death. Let me know in the comments if you liked it. You know, were you planning to get it from Amazon or not? And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Hit the like button and also hit the notification button to be notified with new content. And don't forget to leave a comment so you can be entered in the 100 subscribers giveaway. And thanks again for watching and like always, stay faithful.